So today's video, we're going to show you how to install a warm roof. So all we've got at the minute is existing uh, torch on felt. We're going to remove that now. Me and Dan will crack on that first. We're going to see what the existing boards are like underneath. And then what we're going to do then is put some new ones down if we need to. We've got 150 mil P PIR insulation going down and then another layer of 18 mil OSB down. Bish, bosh, bash. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned. We're going to show you at near the end some little tips and tricks of the trade. All right, so all we are doing now is just using some space to try and expose underneath the felt, as you see Dan doing now. And that basically just allows us to shovel, shovel, or shove the spade underneath it and just prise it off nice and easy. So we've got to do that all the way across here, and then we're going to put them straight into some rubble sacks, keep it nice and clean and tidy. But, oh, check this out. Look at that view. You might remember this project. We've done this room in here. If you haven't seen that project, check out the video above and you'll see what we've done here. We've done a sunroof conversion. So we've done, we took some, uh, added some steels up, some new windows. They had a corner post blocking the whole, all their view of the whole of Tor Bay. Check that out. Let us know what you think. Don't forget to drop a comment down below and like and a subscribe. They have all the felt is off now. You can see all the boards are in there, not the best condition. We're going to take some off now and check because like this joist here, for example, is rotten a bit as well. So there's a lot of bounce and flex in this roof, especially when you've got two oafs up here. Hey, <laughs> oh, hey. So we're going to check it all now and then let the client know because um, we originally said we don't know obviously what the condition of the joists are underneath. So we're going to go do that now and then we can let them know immediately because obviously we need to get it all done today. So. We'll crack on now, removing all these, we're going to use this big, giant DeWalt crowbar. But you can see from this angle here how bad that far end bows. We'll show you down the other, other side as well, but it's really, really bad. So what we've done at the minute, we put these five twos in, we've screwed them through. So all we've done is just, oh, I'll show up here. These are the tools we've got. Radio, most important, but we've only just put it on because we fucking forgot. Uh, 100 mil screws, okay, so we're just screwing these through. Because they're slightly twisted, we're screwing them more at the bottom. Okay, so that's just bracing up, and as you can see now, it's fairly solid. It's sat on a wall plate here, so it's screwed into the wall plate as well. On the end of these is another wall plate, but we've got uh, a level, tape measure, hammer, brushes, rubble sacks, so we can put all our waste away straight away, um, circular saw, and that's pretty much it. So, all we have to do as well is just notch out a few bits where the cables are. There's nothing else we can do with them. Um, and that's pretty much it. We're just going to crack on with the other side and then we're going to lay the 150mm rock wall in between and then squish it down. One layer of OSB, 150mm Celotex, and then another layer of OSB. But we planned, because the roof is coming in tomorrow, we planned on getting it all done today originally, so we're going to have to crack on. So I'm not going to waste any more time. Bish bosh bash, insulation is in, done. Concrete screwed that. I'm just gonna put some uh, two 250 mil screws through there just to pick up that piece. That wasn't bolted to the walls, so we just bolted that. I'm using my foot to point, I'm holding this up a bit of ply. So I'm gonna start from here now, full piece back through. I so said we've done this bit here, so we've got a safe working area. I'm gonna crack on and get it done. Christ, look at my barn. All right, as you can see, we've got the first layer of ply down, the DPM down, Celotex on top, right through. Just about to lay the felt down on top to make it a breathable membrane as well. And then lay the ply on top and screw that down. 
and that's job done. Night shift. What time are we on now? Half past six. And we're still here grafting. Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday. It's half past seven. We're back at the Warm Roof Project in Paynton. As you can see, it's another lovely day. We've picked two good days to do this. So we didn't finish till half past eight last night. The content was limited near the end because we tried doing it, but you couldn't see anything at all on the camera. So absolutely pointless. So what we've done, we are at the stage of, we have finished the top layer of 18 mm OSB, which I'll show you now. All I've got to do is cut off the excess because we chucked it down, we tacked it down last night. So this is all done. We've just got to finish off some screws uh, across onto the joists. We are using the Carpenter's Mate 250mm flathead screws. Um, so that's the plan this morning, just get on with this, crack on. Uh, yeah, like I said, just cut off the perimeters, fit all the screws. And then I've also got to do on the sides here, I've got to do six inch up stand of OSB around. We've got to grind the chase in there for the lead. Same across here. And then we've also got this little detail here with the extractor fan, is we've got to alter all that. We're going to just raise it up a little bit. We're going to put it into the fascia, try and get around that lead all inside. So that's something else we've got to sort out today. But that's it. Right, this is also something we've done. We propped up the existing ceiling with some plastable props and a board on top. So all that done then, that basically allowed us to push up the existing joists up as high as possible. So when we put our new joists through, we could screw through, connect them together so they're up as high as possible because it, it, it was dipping down about two inches, I think it was, when we worked out. So that's the reason why we've done that, to try and get up as high as possible, to try and flatten out the ceiling inside. And obviously the new roof is flat. It's just flat enough from the inside here now. There's a few pla places they've got to put some more screws in the plasterboard because they didn't want to redo this area, as you can see. There's a couple of bits we should push up and screw back in and stuff. So all I'm doing here is putting these 250 millimeter screws down through. So it's picking up the top layer of the OSB and it's pulling it down via the head, compressing it down onto the Celotex, screwing down through the joist below. So these are very temperamental. If you miss slightly, they just do not grab at all. I miss on purpose just to show you how to take them back up. Reverse them back up. They get to a point like there and they get stuck, so you just get a hammer, use a claw bit on your hammer, reverse it up like that. Right, so we've got Ollie here just finishing off the felt roof. As you see, he's got the first layer down, he's got another two to go. He's put the tilt and fillets around the edges. He just skinned himself, finished off the first layer in this corner here. Right, so I'm just currently in the side adapting the extraction point. So I've taken all it down. As you can see, there was the existing. So it went up and on a right angle straight up. And all I've done now is cut that through the ceiling, through the roof. I'll take you up in a minute. I'm just fixing off inside here, connecting up in here. And then I can put the hood back up, the chimney stack. I can foam up the existing hole and make good of that as well. But all I've done, had a bit of extra fascia left over, so I've put this as a dust, dust catcher. It's only debris coming down, majority of it's landed on here. This lot's just come from wind blowing around, so it's pretty good to be fair. So I'm just going to pull this up now. I've got an adapter to go on the end of that. Cable tie that together and then that should all be good, ready to go. And then all we're going to do is felt on top of the roof, patch on around it. Right, half past six. Ollie's got all this sorted. Got my little LED on my light, on my GoPro. Half decent, ain't it? So we've done all this, all we've got to do is just the upstands tomorrow, but it's too, too fucking dark now, we can't really see what we're doing. So we've got this little number in as well though. That's all sorted. So that extractor vent was in here. So we took it out, 
decided to put it through the roof instead, so that's all done watertight. So now their extractor is all up and running um, nice and easy, that was. So then all we've got to do now is put, take the fascia off here. Then we're going to run the lead up behind the fascia just to make it as watertight as possible because there ain't much of an upstand there. It's probably about, what is it, five inches, five inch upstand. So we're going to just fold it up uh, in behind the fascia and then re refit the fascia again and that's it so we'll crack on i'm going to be back here tomorrow we're going to finish off the last bits hopefully tomorrow and then that is it i am just going back to the warm roof project now just to finish off some last pieces and then ollie's back there later to crack on and finish the job he's just going to do the lead and some felt up stands and that is it so let's crack on get these tunes blaring get to work <laughs> absolutely freezing i've just put me scan safety thermal hat on i've got my thermal gloves on as well i sit in the van just warm my hands up because i was holding something freezing cold for ages so we are back at the warm roof project i have just taken off the existing fascia across here as you can see and that's allowing for the new lead upstand to go up and, and down and then ollie to get a better fixing all around just to make sure it's waterproof everywhere i've gone four inches past both sides of the roof and then all we can do then is just refit the fascia, gut her in, job done, and then it's fully waterproof. That's getting all sorted today. And then also just this side around here. Just gonna chase that in. And that's it, all the gutter and fascia's all done. Siliconing's all done. I've just got to do a little bit down here now. A little patching down here, some sand and cement. And then that is pretty much it. Right, so we're back at the warm roof project. As you can see, it's very, very chilly this morning. I've got my scan safety hat on. I've got my scan safety thermal waterproof gloves on to keep me nice and warm because it is Baltic. So I have just taken off the existing fascia, as you can see here on the returns. And basically all that is to do is for the upstand of the roof, we're going to put a lead, lead upstand down over behind the fascia and then we'll reinstate the fascia back on put the gutter back in and then it's a fully waterproof sealed roof because there's not much of an upstand there. It's about four to five inches of upstand. Um, so we just want to make sure it's fully waterproof because it gets quite southerly. So the wind blows this way as well. Um, so we can get that done. Ollie's coming about 12 o'clock this afternoon. So he's going to crack on. He's going to get all these bits finished today. As you see, all the roof itself is, is all done. It's just literally the upstands down here. And then these two upstands here. The gutter in's all reinstated. All the fascia's finished off, just got to do a couple of little bits of silicone in. We also installed the mushroom vent last night. It was very dark, so content was minimal, so apologies for that. But all we've done basically, this is a warm roof. So all I, went, I, went, I went inside, I took the extractor and um, the chimney vent off, took that off, drilled a hole right up through the roof, central point, and then what I've done then is drilled, multi-tooled around there, took it all down, and then I slotted my uh, four inch foul pipe, gray pipe right down through, and then fitted this all in place, foamed all up inside. It was nice, as you can see in the video previously. Um, beforehand, they had a right angle vent coming out and it was around here somewhere. So what they, the problem they were having, it wasn't venting very well. So it was blowing back down, so the smells were staying inside, because like I said, they're quite southerly. So now they're gonna be okay because I've got this mushroom vent on. So it's gonna, it has to come up and out. So nothing will really blow down inside. So that's gonna be a benefit for them. Um, <coughs> so that's all sorted. All sorted back inside. I've reinstated everything back inside so they, they can use the extractor and everything now and the hob. So literally it's just these last little details. I've got one little small bit down to do down here. Bit of sand and cement. And that is it for today. And then next week I'll be back. Underneath we're gonna re-plasterboard. So we're not re, we're gonna overboard the ceiling and we're going to replaster the ceiling because it's only nine millimeter plasterboard where they had a leak previously the ceiling's blowed slightly so we're going to go over that i've tried screwing it up to um save obviously the cost but it's still bowing so i've just recommended overboard plastering so that would be job done so that's next week sorted um and that's pretty much it so i'm going to crack on now get these last little bits done tidy up so the site's clean ready to go for ollie and that's it don't forget to like and subscribe, have a good weekend and stay posted for every weekly vlog we do, every single week. If you click the notification bell, you'll stay notified for every of our new latest videos. 
And that is it. We appreciate your support. Right, so as you can see, we've installed this fascia along here. So it's a 400 millimeter fascia, which we have ripped down. Um, as you can see underneath, so from here onwards, it's level going all the way through. So ex externally, it's pleasing to the eye because it's just flat level way through. Obviously the roof itself slants down slightly so it went from like a 400 millimeter to a 360 millimeter. Um, and then you've got the curbs going up here. That's allowed for the water to not run out there. Keeps the water on the roof and then it disposes out this point here. So this is the one side where we have the gutter run and then we have another gutter run on the other side as well. But that is a wrap for us. So if there's anything else, let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell as well so you're notified of all our latest videos. If there's anything you want to see or you want to know, don't hesitate to drop me a comment down below or in any of our other videos. I'll get back to you personally and we'll get you some help. See you soon.